You spent so much time making high quality videos just for them to look bad when you upload them on Instagram and TikTok. However, inside DaVinci Resolve, there's some export settings that you can change to make your videos look extra crispy and high quality. After we've gone over the export settings in DaVinci Resolve, we will be going over to our phones and changing a setting just to make sure that the quality is going to be as high as possible when we upload these. So inside DaVinci, the first thing you wanna do is come up over here to your media pool and we're gonna add a new sequence. We can do that by right clicking, come over to timeline, create new timeline. The most important thing you wanna make sure you do is uncheck use project settings and we're gonna go over to format and change the timeline resolution to 1920 by 1080. You've probably recorded your videos in 4K, however, as of now, in 2024, you cannot upload 4K to TikTok or Instagram. You technically can, but what's gonna happen is they're going to compress the footage and it's going to look worse than if you just uploaded it at 1080. After changing the resolution, you wanna make sure to check on use vertical resolution. And then also change the frame rate to whatever you shot it in. If you were shooting on a phone, most likely it's gonna be 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second and then click create. If you're working with horizontal footage, when you drop it in, it's probably going to look like this with some ugly black bars, but we can change that by just making sure that inside our timeline settings that we have the mismatch resolution set to scale full frame with crop. We'll hit okay. They'll automatically resize the footage on your timeline to fit the vertical frame. From there, you can go about editing your video, and once you're ready, we can go to the deliver page to actually change the export settings. So come down to the delivery tab, which is this little rocket icon. So here we are on our export settings, file name, obviously you can change that. A little shortcut for it, if you type percentage and then timeline, timeline name, it'll automatically name it to whatever you named the timeline. For the format, I usually like to go with MP4. You can also get some good quality just going with QuickTime, but because I am on a Windows machine, I like to just go with the MP4. Now with the codec, H.264 has pretty much been the standard for a while, but they have a new H.265, and that's the one I like to go with because it is a little bit better than H.264. Encoder, you can leave it on auto, but with me having a Windows machine, I have an NVIDIA card, so I'm gonna make sure that I use that so it'll render a lot faster. And then resolution, just make sure that we have it what it was set to. Now this is great if you were already editing a 4K video and you wanna bring it down to 1080, you can do that here. And also just check on use vertical resolution. Now we've come down to quality. So we want to make sure this restrict to is set to 3500. 3500 is going to be a happy medium. You can go a little bit lower if the file is too big to upload, or you can go a little bit higher if the quality isn't looking as good as you want. So maybe all the way up to 10,000 kilobits per second, but that's really pushing it. And depending on everything else you have going on in your video, it may not upload if you go up that high. I suggest just going with 3500, and if it's still not looking as good as you think it should, then go up a little bit higher. On rate control, we wanna to come to a constant bit rate, and that's going to make sure that it stays at 3,500 kilobits all the time. Otherwise, if it's variable, sometimes there'll be a little bit more compression that you'll see have some pixelation going around. So if we go to constant bitrate, that's going to help and make sure that everything is the same quality throughout the whole video. In tuning, we want to make sure that's high quality. Two pass, I want to make sure this is set to full so that we'll actually render the video two times. It'll do two passes on the video just to make sure that it gets the highest amount of quality possible. One other thing that you may want to do that will probably help a little bit is just making sure that to force debayer to highest quality. There is this force sizing to highest quality, which sounds like it would be good, but if you have stabilization on, it actually turns off the stabilization that you've added onto any of the clips in your video. So if you've done all this and the video looks great, but you don't wanna go in and change all these export settings every single time you have to make a new Instagram or TikTok, you can actually make a preset. To do that, you just come up to these three dots and then save as new preset. And we'll just title this social media and then I'll just do vertical just so we know what it is. So now you see there is a social media vertical setting right here, a preset. So if we went through something else, maybe we're on this one, we can click there and it automatically put all the changes that we had. Not only can you export the video to a certain folder location, you can also upload directly to the social media platform that you want to. You just scroll over here and there is a YouTube preset. Now there is a drop down menu, which with YouTube, you can go to these higher qualities if you wanted. And we can go in here and change all of our settings, kind of like what we did earlier, but they do take away a couple of things on here. 
Uh, but you can obviously go through, add a title, description, all that kind of stuff, and it will automatically upload it to whatever YouTube account you have signed in on DaVinci. And then Vimeo, Twitter, and TikTok, pretty much the same thing. So we're not done yet. Like I said earlier, there is some settings that you wanna change on your phone just to make sure that it's going to upload at the highest quality. You can do this on both Android and iPhone. It's really just a setting inside the apps themselves. Here we are on Instagram. You wanna make sure you're on your profile and come up to the hamburger menu, go to settings and privacy, and in the search bar, you wanna type in media, data usage, and media quality. Then you wanna come over here to media quality and make sure that this upload at highest quality is checked on. However, inside TikTok, you can only really change the setting if you are uploading a new video. So just come over here, make a new video and go to next. And then right here, more options. You can come down to allow high quality uploads. Just make sure that is ticked on. That's how you upload high quality crispy videos on social media using DaVinci Resolve.